All right, everyone, we are going to look at Solana. So Solana, you can see here on the chart where these blue lines are. This is the range that we are now trading in from the middle to the bottom to the top to the middle. And we're just kind of going sideways. So it is a trader's market right now for Solana. And from the low to the high, you can see that we already hit the 3.2, the 0.5. And we're just doing our little dance here to the side. Um, if we draw another fib on the chart from this high to this low, this uh, level here at 27, this is right where you're smacking into the 786 from that high to that low. I'll just go ahead and draw it really quick so you guys can see. You can see that 786 here. So until you break over the top here, I'll break over the top of this range, there is no momentum up in my opinion and the bottom is not in. Uh, and the moment you break below the bottom of this range, this 0.5 at 1470, 1480, I would say the price of Solana is coming to fill the gap down here. So there is a potential that if Solana comes back down to the 0.5 at 1480 for a 30% drop, that you're probably headed toward the 786 here at about 1040 for a 53% drop. You can see to fill this gap here. Uh, the price already came down to the 0.5, wicked down to the 618, and we filled this gap here. So there is a possibility that you're going to come down and fill the gap. I just wanted to put that out there. So we'll see how the market goes. As long as you stay in this range, you stay above that 0.5 from that low to that high, uh, there's a chance to you know go sideways until you break 27 here. 27 is your price to beat on Solana. Once you break 27, I would say it's off to the races. You can see that. Depending on how long we stay in this range is going to depend on where you're going to end up having that 200 day EMA come to your price here. So uh, the longer we go sideways, the more this is curling sideways and down, and that may end up coming and meeting you at 27 bucks here. And that's going to be heavy resistance, and that's going to be what pushes you to the downside here. So that is a possibility. So let's just keep it real simple here. Uh, from where you are right now, if you continue momentum up, you can see the 100-day EMA. Uh, then you have your $27 range for about a 26, 27% move. And then our next stop after that, depending on if we get over that 200-day EMA and become bullish or in an uptrend rather, you're looking at about 38 bucks, 38, 39 bucks for a 77% move on Solana here. And if you're just going to take out support come back down to the middle of the range at that $20 area for a 7% drop then that 382 at 17 for a 22% drop and then we have the bottom of the range at the 0 0.5 at about 1470 for a 32% drop and like I said once we take that out there's a good possibility we're coming down to fill the gap here and uh, I would say look out below on Solana uh, you're gonna have a pretty decent drop on your hands here but as of right now, you're not doing anything really. We could draw smaller fibs, we could go to smaller time frames, but ultimately on the bigger picture here, you can see that it gives us a lot better support and resistance levels to keep an eye on and potentially better you know, investment opportunities here on Solana. So we will leave it at that for now on Sol, and we will see you in the next one. Peace out.